Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Darius back here in the Ball Python band, though. And today you can see we're not inside, we outside because we got that new snake in. We're gonna do an unveiling. As you can see, I already done opened the box, I couldn't wait too long. But hey, you know, it's game time. Shout out to I believe it's AW Reptiles Anthony Woods. Thank you, man. Nice boxing, nice insulation. Obviously, I've already opened up the snake, but hey, I couldn't wait. So I just wanted to introduce the newest member of BOF. She's so fire, dog. Her name is Ruby Rose. She is a red stripe lavender 50% head piebald. And she's a girl. Look at her. She She's so hard like to be honest, she's really more more orange in person like This is what I thought orange dream would be like with lavender, honestly. Yeah, man, I just wanted to give y'all a closer look before we go inside. Crazy. Kind of got like a little stripe going down the door, so. I'm thinking here on the end of the tail. Hey, we in the trenches. I know y'all hear the music. <laughs> I hope that's a head pod marker. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's go inside. All right, you guys, as you can see, it's feeding day over here. You know, we got them all off the thing. Hey, if you're not following us on Instagram, go give us a follow. If you're watching the video, like, subscribe. You know, it's live gang over here, <laughs> but we got a little bit of everything. We got Ocho right there. He's still eating, We're waiting for Ruby Rose to see if she'll take her first meal. Ari is still, we're still waiting on her as well. But my girls, they getting ready though. Yes, sir. Yeah, so if you haven't been watching, this is Kobe. She's my biggest girl. She's about 13 grams, I mean, excuse me, 1300 grams. And um, she's gonna be going to Ocho. So Ocho is over here. He's a super NG desert ghost. So he'll be going to her, and she is a Butter OD Pastel Het DG. Possible Het Cryptic as well. She's killing it. And then this is my girl, Chanel. Killing it like always. She's usually bougie, but hey, she's doing good today. She's my albino pied. And her boyfriend right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Louis V., so she might be having a new boyfriend coming soon. And then you already know this girl Yuris right here. She's going to Gohan. He in the back eating. We'll go check on them in a minute. Trying to make some OD dream sickles this year and then hit for some super OD dream sickles the following year. Let's take a check on Ocho, see what he's doing. Oh, he posted. He like, bro, why you messing with me? My bad, my bad. Let's go check on Aria. Oh, the rat's still back there. Maybe she don't want to eat today. I don't know. Wait. Let's check on Ruby. Oh, uh, well, she chilling. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right, you guys, let's go to the back. Go check on the boys. All right, you guys, back with the boys, some more boys. That boy Gohan done murked a rat. He looking at me like, bro, why is you bothering me? I'm finna eat. It's okay. And then YB over here. Come on, YB. I know you had two the other week. Come on, don't be bougie. Don't be bougie. But yeah, he's been doing good. They actually both have been doing pretty good. I know you guys are like, why did I keep them separate and everything? I had to keep them separate because YB... 
he's ready to breed and he's trying to climb into Kobe's bin. And I'm just like, nah, player, you can't do that. But he looking good. He ready. I just wish he'd eat a lot more, but it's okay. And then Gohan, you know he's going to yours. I know y'all probably like, why is his been a lot smaller than YB's? The reason his is smaller is because when we got him, he was already almost a year. And he, I had put him in this small one because I couldn't get a big one at the time. I was being a bad daddy. But he just ended up getting comfortable with this bin and started eating out of it. So I just left him in it. And then the one time that I tried to put him in a bigger bin, he wouldn't eat for like a month or so. So I just decided to leave him in here for now. Until after his first season with yours. Um, I'm just happy. Very proud of what he's doing. Definitely ready to see these OD Dream Sickles. He a little dirty, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to leave you alone. Okay. Yeah, man. So we're putting together just, um, this is like our little rack. You know, I got it off of Amazon for 40 bucks. And it's got some wheels on it. So I can kind of take it anywhere I need to go. You know, I just wanted to... Talk to you guys while me and my nephew shout out Killer Kayla. Uh, you know, basically, I just wanted to holler at you guys, you know, let you guys know that, you know, what's going on and show you guys the process. You know, it's all not pretty. I know you guys might see Mikey and see us going places and having all these followers and doing these reels, but hey, man, like, you have to be creative in this industry. You know, you can't just be out here trying to copy people and, you know, follow trends. Yeah, it's cool to follow trends, which uh, now that I think about it, uh, when we hit 50K, me and Mikey were going to be doing uh, a social media video to tell you exactly how we got the 50K once we reach it. Uh, we're about a thousand away right now. So, yeah, just like I said, if you're watching right now and you don't follow us, go ahead and go follow us. But um, basically, you guys, it ain't always pretty. I know it may seem like that, but it ain't. You got to grind. You know, you got to be very, very patient in this industry. I've only been in this industry. This is going on my third year. This will be my first season. We bought all the babies. We bought all the snakes as babies. You know, I think Mikey only had about like six or eight snakes when I first met him. And now we got like 50, including the babies, a little over 50. So, you know, it just, it takes time and you got to be patient. You have to be able to think ahead. Oh, yeah. I get the screws. Is this right? The, the screws, that's the right. No, no, no. We don't need it. No, because we're going to put oh. the wheels on. Right. But, yeah, thank you. So basically, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is I'll tell you how we first kind of invested with our snakes. You know, I only have about 10 here, but initially my plan with Mikey was I was scared of the snakes. So I was just like, hey, I'm going to buy the snakes. You breed them. And, you know, we'll come to some sort of agreement like that. But, you know, as I... As I, you know, started learning more, doing my own research as we progressed, you know, I started to gain a passion for them and a love for them. And that's why I always say, you always see me say, Trunks is my first son. That's because he was the first boy that I bought. <laughs> but I didn't raise him. Uh, Mikey raised him. And then you always hear me say, Chanel is the first girl, my first daughter, my first baby. That's because she was the first snake that I actually kept. And I think she was like my fourth or fifth snake. You know, for the wheels on. Um, yeah. It's right there on the end. You just screw them in. There you go. But yeah, she was my first baby, man. And now, shoot. I can't even tell you how many snakes, snakes me and Mikey got. I mean, we just kind of came to an agreement. Like, in the beginning, it's like, hey, we're going to be consistent. We're going to do the best we can we're going to drop something every day whether we like it or not and we all are going to try and stay true to ourselves and basically that's the way it ended up happening <laughs> i still remember the talk that we had or you know with each other letting him know like hey we're going to do this we're going to take it serious and 
it just became one of those things that just blossomed into something beautiful. You know, shoot, I actually, before I even made this video, I just got off the phone with him. I talk to him every day. And that's the way it's got to be, especially, you know, we're dealing with the distance right now. You guys know we met in chiropractic school. So, hey, I'm down in Florida holding it down, and he's up there. You know, I, I like to tell people he's the brain, you know what I'm saying? I'm the body. So I'm the one watching. I'm the one moving. You know, I'm the one putting in the dirty work that he ain't putting in, hey. And we gonna get it. Sometimes you gotta get dirty. Um, but do remember, presentation is key in anything you do. Y'all need a, if y'all don't have a light box, y'all need to get a light box. Shoot, I think shoot. On, honestly, our next step is getting a professional uh, rack system. Honestly, we don't even have one of those yet. To be honest. And with the social media, if you're having trouble growing your following stuff, to be honest, we had about like 25K, 30K before we even made our first babies, you know, it's just, it's just that grind, whatever you guys are trying to accomplish, whatever you guys are trying to reach for with your collection, your, you know, your goals, you just got to be consistent, you know, you got to, you know, you got to fight through it, you know what I'm saying, some days are better than, better than others. And if you're going through anything, you know, and you love these snakes, you know, those snakes can be your peace. You know, your, your reptiles can be your peace, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to help you get through it. To be honest, like, the snakes help, help me get through it. I tell Mikey every day, like, look, hey, I, hey, <laughs> it's taking too long. And he's just like, bro, you got to be patient. He, he'll tell you straight, straight up. Oh, yeah. I'll come back when we're done, show you guys what it's gonna look like and how we're gonna have the snakes positioned and everything like that. Shoot. All right, YouTube. So you done seen it all. You done got to see our girl Ruby Rose, the, um, our new red striped lavender 50% head um, pie ball. You know, you got to see us feed the snakes. You know, it's Sunday here. If you ain't following us, go follow us on IG at Balls of Fury Ball Pythons. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Just want to give a shout out to the guys, AJ, Dre, Mikey. You already know I'm holding it down down here, baby. You know it's game time. Um, I just appreciate all the feedback that you guys leave in the comments and everything like that. Uh, hopefully next time you guys will get to see YBE eat again. You know, I'm, getting, I'm proud of Gohan. He getting ready. We getting Ocho ready. Um... If you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, just uh, come down in the comments. You can DM us. And, you know, if you got anything hard going on in life, just remember, you know, stay positive, stay up, keep going, keep moving forward. Okay, because, you know, it's not going to be easy some days, but, hey, you got you to gotta stay motivated. You got to stay consistent. Okay, and especially with these snakes, it's all going to pay off. Okay, so you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Peace.